Hello everyone, welcome to 3DV official channel. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a virtual fitting room. Let's get started. First of all, let's prepare a scene for using new track. We click prepare the scene and get a prefab new track scripts created. It contains all components necessary for new track operation. Tick for depth to color registration is put by default. We can also tick the mirror option if necessary. It mirrors all data received from the sensor. Now let's add the background. Frame folder contains all necessary prefabs. Here are several canvases which have a certain type of frame received from the sensor. So we have here depth frame, RGB frame, segment frame, segment overlay frame, and also the universal prefab, which contains all these frames and switches. What we need is an RGB frame. Let's drag it to just a canvas, which contains image object, frame viewer components with necessary settings, and also the component that provides the correct image display on canvas. In other words, uh, valid aspect ratio. Also, we need to compare parameters of a virtual camera with parameters of your sensor. We are mostly interested in the field of view option. It has an automatic setting which depends on your sensor. Let's add a sensor space component and also our canvas with RGB and apply the settings recommended by this component. By doing this, we will put our canvas in camera space. Oh, it works! Perfect! Now let's move to the model setting. Uh, we drag the various model to the scene, uh, apply the material and turn the model around. For avatar animation we use the script Nutract Avatar. Now we need to match joints used by new track with the model bones. For this we press the Auto Map button. Now let's check if we got all the joints automatically. We don't need a neck joint, so let's delete it from this scheme. As you can see we don't have a collar joint. As usual the model has two collar joints, but new track uses only one. So it means we need to add this component manually. For this we save our prefab and edit it later on. Then we create an empty object in this area, which will be our color. To follow the hierarchy we'll create it as a child object to torso. We name the object color and move it to an appropriate place. And then we make such objects as arms, head and so on, child objects to color. Finally, we drag the color object to our model. Congrats! Our skeleton is completed. Also, we need to put a model in T-Pose. For this, we press the Enforce T-Pose button. Uh, the result is not always a success, so sometimes we need to make slight corrections. Now let's compare the position of bones with joints from the new track avatar component. Here we face a problem with the waist joint. It is placed lower than the hips, so let's place the hips lower. Now everything is ok. To get the proportions right, we should all the time compare with the scheme from Nutrack Avatar component. Also, the legs are a little bit splayed. We need to make them straight and vertical to the floor as much as possible. Now everything is ok. We need to check the rest of the joints, for example arms. We can also correct their position a little bit. 
The model should be as straight as possible to reach the ideal T-pose. The better T-pose is, the better the model matches the skeleton. Our model looks straight. Let's check it. Oops. Model and camera are in different spaces. To combine the spaces we just need to drag the camera to new track avatar component. To the sensor space field. Now let's add some cloth to our model. For this we add the component, select all the points, then we tick max distance and put zero value for max distance. Now all our points are fixed and cannot change their positions to make a cloth moving effect. Let's set the cloth effect for a cloak and a loin cloth. We select all necessary points from both sides by holding the shift button and put the value equal to 0.2. Now our cloak is moving. Then we set a loin cloth. For convenience let's move up the legs for some time, otherwise leg points will prevent the selection. After that we turn to the cloth component once again and select all the points which should have a cloth effect. You can change the settings to get the cloth effect you want. We will use the default values. So we put the same value as for the cloak. Then we disable the editing and move the legs back. Everything's ready. Let's launch and check it. You see, uh, both cloak and loincloth are moving. Perfect. Virtual fitting room is ready. And the costume looks nice. If you like this video, click like button and subscribe to this channel to get more great and useful videos. Thanks for your attention. Bye bye.